Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sign of Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and any other placement you want to check out, feel free. Go right ahead. Don't force the readings to fit your situation if they do not fit your situation. I will catch you on the next one. Or go ahead and check out um, my Aries playlist. I do have playlists. I'm going to pick out an oracle card for you first, and then I'll read this at the end. Get success and growth. General love reading for Aries. Okay. Never give myself enough room. What you don't see coming? Fate, turn of events? We'll see. The overall energy for the reading is the moon. That tells me that there might be some fears coming up. There might be some things that you might be dealing with that are subconscious. We're going to take a look. The recent past, it looks like you had a hard time letting go of somebody who was like kind of a player. Someone you were hoping to have um, maybe a stable household with some kind of stability with. But they didn't really work out that way. Currently, I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You're trying to balance. Balance the things that you want for yourself. And near future, looks like you're moving away from some dramatic situation, but not sure if that's a good thing or not. Let's clarify it. The moon, clarified by the moon, of course, but uh, with the eight of cups and the, and the four of coins. And I feel like you might be trying to walk away from someone and it's just really hard. It's either really hard for you to do or for somebody to let go of you. It could be one or the other. I think it's one of those things where you hold on to something out of familiar familiarity. I can't talk. But you know what I mean? You hold on to something because it's a habit more than it is good for you. It's not good for you. That's what I get here. Yeah, I feel like in the recent past, you, you left a situation that was more sexual in nature that um it was just drama and this person caused you a lot of heartache and they were like inconsistent they were a player they um could have been part of a third party situation could have been i feel like this person could say all the right things 
but not do all the right things. They're the ones holding on. They're the ones holding on. They're holding on, on onto your energy out of fear. Out of fear. That's what this reading is. It's them holding on to you. Out of fear of, of you walking away. And I see here in the past, it's like, even though they, they held on to you, like wanting to work things out, um... It would always end up with some stupid argument. I feel like this person always tried to act like they were so stable. And I say act because they don't come off as someone who's actually stable. They don't. This person has a lot of internal conflict. And like I said, you could have been part of a third party situation. You could have very much dealt with someone who has kids with someone else. And if that was the issue, it's like this person didn't know necessarily what to choose. They didn't know what to choose. So if, if, if I'm talking about a guy and he has a baby mama, he didn't know what he wanted. Because it kind of feels like him and baby mama have this tie. They... It's like there's no boundaries there. There's no boundaries there if you dealt with somebody who has a child. If you didn't deal with somebody who has a child, this can also be somebody who has business ties with somebody. But I see it more like a kid. I got to be honest. That's how I see it. This person is like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be part of that. But they lie. They did. This is the recent past, so, and when I say they lied, it's like, they said they made decisions, but there's a lot of talk and no action, you know? I think you wanted something stable with this person and it just didn't happen. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on your appearance. You're working on how you feel. This is the current energy. Um, you're working on the things that make you happy. And I don't feel like this was part of the plan. Most of us don't really go within to, to find those things in ourselves. So I don't feel like this was all a, a part of the plan. I feel like this came along after, you know, after an ending here of some kind. But it's a good thing it happened because you are learning about yourself. You're learning about yourself. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You're working on your emotions. You're working on transforming yourself. And it's a good thing. You're, you're, it's like very positive right now. Yeah, there was some healing here. You've done some healing and it was only a matter of time before it happened because I feel like whatever situation you were in, just kept going in circles. It was just the same stuff over and over and over again. It was like you were talking to a child. They had a lot of good ideas on how to do stuff, but they didn't do it. They just didn't do it.
Let me get some more for this. Hmm. Now I see somebody trying to come back in in the near future and it looks like they're offering you a new beginning. They see that you had a glow up. They want to they wanna see where things go, but it's the same energy. It's stagnant and this person is still wrapped up in their mind. They do a lot of thinking about you. They watch you online. They do. So that's social media. That's whatever, whatever that means to you. Yeah, I feel like you're moving away from a situation where someone breadcrumbed you. Where they thought they were giving equally and they really weren't. I feel like you're the stable one in this relationship. You know, and what was this relationship? I don't see necessarily a breakup like that. But I, I do not see you and this person together. So... Take that how it resonates. But I see you as being the nurturing one and always there for this person and this person not even seeing it. They were busy giving to other people. And I see you not wanting to be a part of that. Yeah, definitely see you. <laughs> I see you heated. And I see you in a place where you're like, no. Holding up your boundaries. You're working on yourself. You don't even want to be bothered with anything from the past. You don't want to be bothered with this person. At one point, you felt like this was it for you, you know? You felt really this, this really strong attachment to this person. You're not there no more. I don't see you being there. It's like you're so passionate about the future. Fuck this. Like you don't want anything to do with this. You're done. Some of you, you may be, even be moving. Definitely. Oh, that's it. That's your reading. Success and growth. Keywords, accomplishment, speed, resolution, progress. The energy of manifestation is around you now, and you're being moved forward in a positive way. Stay focused on your heart. When this card appears, success is at hand, and it may happen quickly. Your past efforts are being rewarded. This is a time of new, flourishing relationships and successful re resolutions to conflict and struggle. This is also an ideal period for greater understanding and personal growth. Listen expectantly for messages that will help you that will help you see yourself and others in a fresh positive light these messages can come from anywhere your spirit guides nature books or even the television program they bring in new beliefs about love and what is possible old ways of thinking and being are coming to an end plant these new ideas as seeds and watch them take root and grow that is First, your new space recognition to unlock the device. I don't know why my phone is doing that, but that's your message, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.